Why is it that when it comes to our programs, other than the first 10 nights of Muharram, our youth in some communities don't necessarily take part? Why are they not attending mosque or taking part in Islamic activities? What is the problem? In order to analyze this, we need to look at the challenges that our youth are going through. Because if you were to ask some of the youth today, they would say to you, these challenges are not being addressed. I am going through a number of problems, a number of conflicts, a number of obstacles in my life. When it comes to the mosque, maybe it is not addressing them. Maybe it is not solving them. Maybe it is not offering me solutions for them. But when it comes to some of the challenges, let's look at a few. And no doubt, these are not comprehensive. You and I may be thinking of so many others. But I would like to just pick on some based on my experience of working with the youth. One of the first is what? Is the recognition that parents, unfortunately, have not understood some that when it comes to youth, it is not what they turn 14, 15 that we need to start paying attention. Is when they're young. What do you mean? When I speak to parents today, they say to me, you know what is the solution for the youth? I say to them, what? They say M&Ms. You know M&Ms? Some say it's this chocolate with the peanut. Very nice. They say the solution to the youth is M&Ms. I say to them, what does M&M mean? Member and madrasa. I am very busy. My wife is busy. Molana, what are you doing from the member? Madrasa, what is it doing? Why is my youth who is 16 saying, I don't believe in God anymore? Aren't you doing your job? When it comes to parents, may Allah bless them. Allah has honored them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed the status of parents so high in Islam. Why? Because it is them who ensure that the children are brought up and this tarbiyah is of the utmost importance. You say, yes, brother. From the young age, I taught my son or daughter to pray and to wear hijab. But look at them today. I say, you know why the problem is? Instead of forcing them to wear hijab or to pray, you may not have developed a close affinity with them, became friends with them, communicated with them, went out with them, went to a football game with them, became what close with them, so they would not open up to you. Tarbiya is not only teaching them Islam. Tarbiya is developing a relationship with your son and daughter. When it comes to this, this is something that we have to highlight. And may Allah bless our parents. You know, they need training sometimes. This might hurt some people. Who says that this tarbiya of children and upbringing is today very easy? We need courses. We need seminars. We need conferences. We need papers. We need think tanks. We need tools like apps. We can't have enough of them. For all these challenges, for all the problems, we have to wake up before it's too late. Our parents are suffering. These, may Allah bless the husbands and the wives. They want to make sure their children, the youth are brought up in the right way, but they need as much support as possible. Yes, and one of the ways to support is to create these groups. Yes, some of the families, some of the parents can create smaller groups. Five or six families come together, discuss common problems. How did you deal with an issue that your son or daughter had? What do you think we should be doing? How do we provide practical solutions to these challenges? Number one, Another area some of the youth complain about, and it is a burning issue within them, is marriage. No doubt. What do we mean? We mean today, whether it's at university or college, our youth see others having boyfriend, girlfriends. Social media, people, relationship open, yes? When it comes to Netflix, internet, movies, Hollywood, Bollywood, illicit, illegitimate relationships. And what? That desire that is within them that Allah has given them becomes incredibly what? Incredibly strong. And then they begin to struggle. In many different setups, there is a struggle. You ask me, what is the solution? Of course, the religion of Islam has presented marriage as a solution without a shadow of a doubt, yes? But marriage needs to be simplified in the idea that today marriage has become somehow slightly complicated. Of great importance as far as the challenges 
that some of our youth are confronting is the ideological wave, warfare. Please pay attention to this. Today, many of the youth are struggling because they're bombarded with thoughts and ideas. Questions, atheism. Why is God not stopping evil? Questions, why do we need to follow a marja? Do we, can, can we follow more than one marja or not? Questions relating to what? Relating to why does Islam have a position against homosexuality? Questions regarding evolution and so many other issues. It is one of the reasons why some of the youth may not attend mosque is because we have perhaps placed too much attention on the majalis. What do we mean? Majalis must continue. The remembrance of Ahl al-Bayt must stay, stay alive. But we need courses and workshops because majalis are what? Are a monologue and they're pedagogic. What does that mean? It means I am speaking down to people. Whereas you need interactive discussions, you need courses, you need these interactive workshops in which the youth is able to express that at college and university, these are the challenges I'm having. Please answer my questions so that these learned individuals will be able to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. There is a feminist movement out there that's saying this is nonsense that there is this thing called hijab and it's wajib. And some of our sisters and brothers are falling into their traps. Therefore, the intellectual discourse needs to be raised. Number one. Number two, we need to give feedback to the ulama and to our resident alim and to anybody in our communities as to what is it that the youth want. Do surveys, questionnaires. My dear young brother or sister, what do you want to hear from a member? What are the topics that would what attract you? What are the challenges that you want addressed? Not only from the member, but also through other interactive programs. This empowerment is of the utmost importance. Amongst the challenges, and there are so many, is the identity crisis that some of our youth are facing. What do we mean? There are many who ask the question, am I a Khoja, Shia, British, Muslim? Can I be all these? Can I be an American, Tanzanian, Shi'i, Ithna Ashari, Khoja? All these identities, can they go hand in hand? There are suggestions today that there is a what? An identity crisis out there. Yes, identity crisis that needs to be addressed. We must look at our youth with great hope and potential.